So cervical cancer is a cancer that um, occurs within the cervix. The cervix is an organ that occurs or uh, is, is found at the bottom part of the bottom part of the uterus, and really helps the fetus stay in place in the in the in the uterus itself. And cervix cancer in the United States has become less of a less of a frequently diagnosed cancer, really because of the institution of the Pap smear. So over the past several decades, where this cancer was a, a very frequently diagnosed cancer, now um, in the U.S. there's about 10 to 11,000 new cases per year. However, in the rest of the world, in a lot of the developing countries around the world, Africa, uh, a lot of South American countries, um, cervical cancer is a significant problem in terms of uh, the numbers of cases being diagnosed. In a lot of third world countries, it's the number two diagnosis after breast cancer. So it's, it's still a problem worldwide. If the cancer is, is early enough and small enough, uh, in other words, confined to the cervix, our surgeons can do a hysterectomy and, and, and remove the cervix and the uterus uh, and take the cancer out. If the cancer becomes larger, um, bigger, uh, takes up more space in the pelvis. Surgery may not be possible, and in those situations, we'll give the women, we'll give those patients radiation therapy, and then combine that with chemotherapy. There definitely have been some interesting improvements, I think, see, you see moving forward for women with, with more advanced and perhaps recurrent cervix cancer. One finding was the addition of bevacizumab or Avastin to chemotherapy for women with recurrent cervix cancer, showing a, an improvement in outcome. Um, our group has also looked at the genetics of cervical cancer, and based upon the different histologic subtype of cervix cancer, whether it's squamous cell or adenocarcinoma, have found that there are different types of mutations in, in both of those. So really, hopefully moving forward, able to target different therapies based upon not just the histologies of the cervical cancer, but also on the genetic makeup uh, of those cancers.